A couple of days ago, I had one of the best photography days ever. I love the osprey. It's by far my favorite bird, and I've been trying to get a very specific shot for a very, very long time. So I woke up in the morning, and I said to myself, am I going to go photograph ospreys today? Well, of course I'm going to go do that. But everything was perfect. I had partly cloudy skies. The wind was from the south. There was a storm coming. And it, in these videos, it looks like I get these shots instantly. I just wanted to let you know I was out there all day so much that I got this nice, really cool tan line on my nose and the back of my neck is really, really sunburned. But man, I can't wait to share this adventure with you. Come on, let me show you this. Four hours into the morning and giant puffy clouds fill the sky, acting as giant diffusers and softening the harsh midday light. Two warning flags point north, telling me that there are strong winds blowing in from the south. Ooh, this is exactly what I'm looking for. The red flag means hazardous beach conditions with unforgiving seas. The purple flag means dangerous marine life has been spotted in the area. The red warning flag is correct. The sea is very angry and extremely unforgiving. I'm not sure what dangerous marine life is in the area, but I don't want to find out the hard way. So let's move inland a little where things are much calmer. Here we find a young brown pelican precariously perched on an old barnacle covered rock. And it looks like this bird has sprung a leak. Let's take a closer look and see if we can find out what this bird is doing. That's much better. And even though these pelicans are young, they have learned that they can scoop up dozens of tiny minnows in one easy dunk of their pouch. You can see those tiny little fish squirming around the edge of the pelican's beak. Let's get a closer look and grab some shots. Look at all those tiny fish hanging out of the side of the pelican's pouch. They may be small, but if these birds eat enough of them, then there's no need for anything larger. Let's see if we can get a look inside the pelican's pouch and see those tiny fish. Whoa, now that's one weird perspective. What a crazy looking bird, and I don't see any fish in that pouch. There we go. Now we can see a few fish frozen in the air between the top and bottom of the bird's beak. And this shot isn't perfectly in focus, but it gives us a good idea of the amount of fish these birds are gulping down. Let's head back out to that rough and turbulent ocean and see what we can find. A pair of brown pelicans appears in the sky, and they show us just how easy it is to effortlessly glide mere inches from the surface of the water before vanishing behind a large rolling wave. A lone osprey appears right behind them. It's looking for an easy meal. Rough seas and dangerous marine life don't stop this bird, and it isn't long until it snags an unsuspecting fish from the surface of the water. This bird was doing some serious offshore fishing, but we need one to come a little closer so we can get a better look. Another osprey suddenly appears, and this one turns and comes in facing me. It drops out of the sky and comes in at water level. It readies its long muscular legs for a catch. It lowers its feet and it opens its razor sharp talons and plucks a catfish from the surface of the water like it's the easiest task in the world. As the bird ascends to new heights, it takes a glance down inspecting its catch before glancing in my direction as if saying, do you see the size of this catfish? The bird takes to the skies and leaves me standing there by an empty, turbulent sea. Let's take another look inland and see what we can find. It looks like our pelicans are still busy catching minnows, but now there's an adult with them. Let's get a closer look at that bird. Wow, look at the amazing amount of color and detail in this bird. There's orange and yellow feathers on its head, and check out that eye. It looks like a glass marble. And look at this little beauty, an elegant looking snowy egret with some beautiful breeding plumage. I love how its white feathers create a nice contrast with the darker water behind it. And I guess it's busy gulping down minnows as well. Ooh, right behind this beautiful bird, we have a group of white pelicans. Let's take a closer look. Wow, look at all the detail on what most people might think of as a simple white bird. You have all those little water droplets glistening in the sun that magnificent yellow color around the eye, that awesome looking pink beak. Hey, and what do you know? Look, there's one tiny minnow stuck on this bird's beak right there. Let's head back to the mouth of the inlet and see if the osprey have come back for more food. Another osprey is back on the scene. It turns to face me and I grab a single shot of it in the air and you can clearly see just how impressive this bird is. It flies in and lands on top of the bridge 
giving us a much closer look at those massive talons. Look at the size of them. They are huge. This osprey is very smart. It has learned that it can sit on the pole and quietly watch the water below without having to expend any energy flying around. We'll come back to this bird in a minute. Let's shift our focus to the three birds that have now appeared over the inlet. One of these birds quickly snatches a small mullet from the water below. It rises, soaking wet and dripping with cold seawater, its razor-sharp talons embracing its catch. The osprey casts a glance in my direction before looking down at its prize. Everything appears to be in order here as the bird turns to face me. Our eyes meet and the osprey ascends higher into the sky and disappears with its well-deserved meal. Another osprey comes flying in from far out at sea. It has a much larger fish in its talons. It too vanishes from sight. That leaves us with two more osprey in the sky. And the one on the bottom, it is locked onto something far below. Its wings are starting to go back and its talons are ready for the pickup. It comes crashing into the water and ends up with nothing but a chill from the icy cold depths below. The first osprey might have missed, but the second one, it was a little more prepared. It plucks a small tasty fish from the surface of the water. The osprey glances over its right shoulder to see if it's got a clear flight path. The bird then glances in my direction and our eyes lock. This is one of those moments where time seems to slow down as I watch this magnificent bird through the viewfinder of my camera. This incredible bird turns to face me and proudly shows me every bit of its impressive wingspan before turning back to its right and then showing me its impressive catch. It then disappears into the clouds. Wow, what an amazing moment. But we're not done here just yet. There are two more hungry birds here. And it isn't long until another osprey emerges from the water like a phoenix from the ashes. And this one, it's carrying a much larger fish in its talons. Look at the muscle on that leg and think about what's happening here. This creature just came out of the sky and snatched a fish from the water. Now it's going to fly away with its fish. Simply incredible. Once again, the osprey glances in my direction and for a brief moment, our eyes lock. The bird turns and flies higher into the sky, giving us an impressive view of itself and its prized catch. It climbs even higher still, its piercing yellow eyes locked on some faraway perch where it will happily eat its catch. Absolutely amazing. One osprey left, and this is the one that has been lazily perched on the bridge watching all of this action happen below. I move in closer and wait for this bird to show me how it's done. And here it is. That moment I've been trying to capture for a very long time. A close-up shot of the osprey just moments before it makes impact with the water. The moment when you see the utmost amount of concentrated determination in the bird's eyes. The sheer will and awesome demonstration of life as the osprey's massive, outstretched, scale-covered feet made perfectly for gripping fish lead down to sickle-shaped talons that are as black as night, ready to pluck some poor unsuspecting fish from just below the surface of the water. A protective membrane covers the osprey's eyes as it makes impact with the water. And this bird's catch is... nothing. It comes up empty. I pull the camera away from my eye and watch the osprey turn and start to fly away. I've had my once-in-a-lifetime moment here, and I'm happy to have been this close to such an amazing bird. But this was one osprey that was not giving up. What I strongly thought was a once-in-a-lifetime experience, it's quickly proven wrong as the osprey comes in again. With shaky hands, I raise my camera lens and watch this majestic bird once more as it readies itself for impact. Those talons come out again as the bird gets closer. Its wings move back as the look of determination once again takes over the bird's face. And this time, the bird plunges its talons deep into the cold water below. The osprey emerges victorious, but it still has to break through that viscous surface tension of water, and you can clearly see the water refusing to let go of the fish as the bird rises. Shrouded by its impressive flight feathers, the amazing osprey lifts its prize from the water. In its talons lies a catfish that has seen better days. The osprey slowly banks to the left, pushing its catch out into the open, 
before flying away to some nearby location where it will devour its catch. Bravo, Osprey. Bravo. Some people might be wondering if standing out in the hot sun for seven hours was really worth those Osprey shots. You better believe it. It was worth every second of it. It was an incredible experience. And this was my favorite Osprey shot until this experience. So now I think I'm going to have to have that really close up with those talons printed and put up on a next to the wall of this beautiful female Osprey. That was an incredible experience too, which I haven't put in a video yet. I don't know if I'm going to. So did you have a favorite shot in this video or a favorite segment? Um, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to click the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that because I have stuff like this planned and a whole bunch of other stuff coming up. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. And until next time, I'll see you later.